Sadly, a few weeks ago, I lost a silky rooster to a hawk. I've been locking them up every single day inside of their hoop coop. And at night, I take them out and put them inside their uh, chicken coop. So how to prevent a hawk attack in the future? I think I found a solution. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. So four weeks ago, early in the morning, about 10 o'clock in the morning, I was upstairs looking out the window, looking towards my chicken coops, and I noticed that a hawk flew from my silky coop. He was right below it, below the silky coop, and into the tree here to my, to my left. Once I saw that hawk fly away, I knew that it had created some damage. So I raced down here to see what had happened. And I found one silky, one silky dead under there, under that coop right there. And it was uh, one of the three first silkies that I hatched. It was a dark uh, gray one. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture and point them out or even a short video. So my dead silky was right there under the chicken coop. And right now I've had them locked up inside of this hoop coop. For the last four weeks and at night, like I said, I bring them inside and I lock them up. Yeah, for some reason, that hawk decided to attack the smaller silkies, but it didn't even touch the big ones that are free ranging here every day. And I think the reason is because of him. He is my security guard. And let me tell you, nothing can get inside of this hoop coop. This is kind of like Fort Knox. I locked them in guys, I'm going to keep them locked in for as long as it takes. And this was my second rooster that was hatched back in April. <sighs> Rest in peace buddy. Oh, and by the way, I have all sorts of predators. Foxes, raccoons, fishers, you name it. They're all here. So owls and hawks are the two main area predators and they will definitely eat all of your chickens. Unless they're big ones like those standard chickens that I have. And you must have a rooster to protect them from them. So what am I gonna do to prevent this for, for the silkies at least? I'm going to install a bird netting, something that I found online and that it seems to work for a lot of people. And this is a multiple use garden and bird netting. It's uh, I think it's about two and a half inches. Yeah, this one is a 2.4 inch. It's a 50 by 50 feet. And I just noticed this muy tipo. <laughs> multiple use so yeah <laughs> what they meant was multiple so again this is a 50 by 50 and somehow i'm going to attach it to the top of uh the hoop coop the chicken coop and over to the other side and cut any excess because i'm sure this is way too big but how am i going to attach it to the hoop coop i don't know maybe zip ties because I definitely do not want to lose any more of you. And after I put up that bird netting, then I'll let them free range in this area. So what am I going to do to hold up the netting? Well, I'm going to use these T-posts here on the corners. Over there, I'm going to use the chicken coop itself or the hoop coop itself and to go over the chicken coop into the T-post. And then I'm going to tie them in place using zip ties.
I am here now, so I'm gonna let the silkies loose so they can roam around this area for the first time in a month. And when I went to get the zip ties, my wife called me and she told me that uh, she saw the hawk again. We see that hawk three, four, five times a day, easy. Now sometimes we see the crows and the ravens chasing after the hawk. So if you have those, those are perfect. Crows and ravens, they absolutely hate hawks and they tend to chase them away all the time. Let's go Silkies. It's a nice day to be outside. You've got freedom. Come on. <laughs> and they don't know what to do. There they come. Yeah, no hawk is going to show up now that I'm here. And I can put the fence as they play outside. And I just noticed that the bird netting comes with its own zip ties and stakes. Nice. Oh yeah, it's just, I can see it's going to take a while. But I'm going to use this end and tie it off here with the chicken wire. Or you can stick it, I can stick it to the ground too on each side of the coop. I may do that. I am done with the netting guys you can barely see it but it's a little bit long I bought a net that's about four or five times bigger or larger than what I needed so I put four teeth posts one in each corner and then I zip tied it and I added a zip tied around these smaller T posts as well and now what I'm about to do is cut it maybe about a foot below this line here so it overlaps this plastic fencing. It could be a foot, it could be two. I don't know how other people do it. This is my first time doing this. But as you can see, I have a ton of netting, which I can use in other projects. Right? Right, girls? And boy. Now, if I had to do it again, I'll probably buy the 25 by 50. I wanted the two and a quarter inch or, yeah, 2.4 inch, uh, the bigger hole. You can buy them smaller, 25 by 25, but they're one inch. This could have could have worked too. What do you girls want? You think I have a snack? Maybe later, but not right now. Okay, everyone's here now. I don't have anything. Now this bird netting may end up being a temporary fix, but I didn't use any of the stakes. Most of the fencing is still here, and all I used were zip ties and four T-posts. So it came out pretty good. Let me show you. See, it's very fine material. You can barely see it from a distance. And the silkies are now free-ranging. Yep. And I can tell they love it. I attached it to the side of the hoop coop 
and over the coop and into the post every post so will this netting hold up over time i don't know only time will tell but i'm hoping that i never ever lose another silky to a hawk ever again so with that guys you have a good morning afternoon or night wherever you are i'll see you manana bye